Well, it's what we saw in example one, expanding the ascending powers of x. Now, some of you may ask, what if you know we're supposed to expand in descending power of powers of x? Are we going to do right? Well, so let's just take a look. Find in descending powers of x the first four terms in the expansion of 1 plus 3x raised to the power of 6 and 1 minus 4x raised to the power of 5. Now this is exactly the same question that we saw in example 1. Only difference is that now it's in descending order. What they want us to do is to expand this in descending powers of x. Now, how we can do that? Well, in ascending power, it makes sense. Whatever we got there, it was okay, right? So how we can do it in descending powers? First thing first, let's take a look at uh, what we did in example 1. Okay, so what we did in example 1 was basically like this, right? We have 1 plus 3x, so 1 is our first term, 3x is the second term, a and b. So first term has full power, and then first term uh, loses one power, the uh, second term gains one power, and so on and so forth, right? Now, how we end up with ascending powers of x is that our 3x is increasing in power. And the 1 is the one is decreasing. So in order to have an end result of a descending powers of x, of course, what it means is that, well, we have to let the 3x be the first term with the full power first. And then, the, you know, as the term, as the expansion goes on, the 3x will have its power reduced. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, what exactly is going on. So 1 plus 3x raised to the power of 6. So instead of uh, maybe, you know, writing it this way, you may think this is the first term, this is the second term. Well, okay, fine. You know, you can, you can change it into something like this. Okay, so 1 plus 3x is the same as 3x plus 1. Right, it's nothing different there. So the first term will be 3x, 3x raised to the power of 6. Okay, plus, and of course we have 6c1. Right, so 6c1. Uh, of course, then now 3x will be raised down. Okay? Power reduced by 1, right? And of course, the 1 will gain 1 power, but like we mentioned earlier on, 1 to the power of anything is always 1. Right? Next thing is, of course, 62. Right? We have 3x reduced by 1 more power. Alright? And of course, lastly, we have 3x reduces by 1 more power. Okay? And of course, this here we are the four term. Okay, so in this case we have 3 to the power of 6 which from our calculator gave us a value of 729x6. Okay, so uh, the next thing again from the calculator alright, that 3 to the power of 5 is actually 243 so 243 multiplied by 6c1 which is 6 so 243 multiplied by 6 that will give us a thousand 458x to the power of 5. Okay, as we proceed on, 3 to the power of 4 is 81, and 6c2 is 15, so 15 multiplied by 81, that will give us a 1, 2, 1, 5, x to the power of 4. Okay, so last one. Alright, from the calculator, 6c3 is a 20 and 3 cubed is 27, so 20 multiplied by 27, that will give us a 540x cubed. Alright, so this is how we expand, alright, in order to get a descending powers of x. Okay, as you may notice, that this this part here, this terms here that we got, is actually the continuation of what we will get if we were to continue expanding the ascending powers. Okay, if we were to continue um, to expand this fully, these are the terms that we will get. Okay, so it's just the other end of the expansion that we're interested in this time. Okay, so instead of going from left to right, we're now actually looking at things from right to left. Okay, if you know what I'm trying to say. But the point is, it's something very simple. Something is uh, not difficult at all. Alright, so let's take a look at part 2 then. Alright, part 2, we have 1 minus 4x. Okay, and uh, raised to the power of 5. Right, so again, if we were to keep the 4x as the second term, it will have its power increasing. 
So what we do is, of course, well, you know, you, you try to make it into the first term. So negative 4x plus 1 raised to the power 5. So 1 will be the one that is increasing in power. Well, the negative 4x will be the one that's in decreasing power. So the first term will be negative 4x raised to the power of 5. Okay, plus, then of course, the 5c1. Okay, and then negative 4x down to power 4. And of course, now 5c2. Okay, and negative 4x raised to the power of 3. And of course, 5c3, negative 4x, 3 here, negative 4x raised to the power of 2 because it's decreasing. So all is left to do now is simply to um, simplify whatever we got here. So it's something that's rather easily done. So let us not waste any more time and just simply using a calculator, uh, simplifying all these terms. This is what you get, okay? And of course, the end result is in descending powers. So um, it is actually not that difficult, okay, to um, expand in binomial expansion uh, in descending powers of x or descending powers of x. All you really need to do is to pay attention to uh, which is the one that's increasing in power and which is the one that's decreasing in power, okay? Now let us spend a little bit of time to talk about the general term. Now that you have learned your binomial theorem, you may think that, okay, now given me any binomial expansion, I can expand it no problem. Right. So what if a question like this pops up? Find the 20th term in the expansion of 1 plus x to the power.